Hi, and welcome to Morning Afterglow. Uh, this morning, I'm talking with you about uh, Palm Sunday, the triumphal entry of Jesus Christ into the city of Jerusalem. We celebrated that yesterday, which was Palm Sunday. And uh, I read from the 12th chapter of the Gospel of John. It's really interesting that all four of the Gospel accounts record this uh, coming of Christ into Jerusalem, uh, which initiates the final week of His earthly life. But it's a very important event. And John uh, records there in John 12 in verse 15 uh, a prophecy. He refers to the prophecy in Zechariah chapter 9 where the prophet Zechariah predicted that when the Messiah would come, uh, he would come riding on a donkey, on the colt of a donkey, and come humbly uh, to the people of God. But he would come as a deliverer and come as a savior uh, of sorts. And of course, Zechariah chapter 9 records that in sort of a nationalistic way where the Messiah comes and delivers Israel from their enemies. But really, the prophecy was about Jesus, the Messiah, who would come to deliver us from our sins and save us from our sins. And as I thought about uh, the presentation of Jesus Christ publicly um, with such excitement and enthusiasm in the crowd, I thought of what this event meant. Uh, it meant that all of the prophecies of the Old Testament were coming to fruition and completion in Jesus Christ. He was fulfilling those prophecies. He was the one those prophecies were were pointing to and they were talking about. And that the plan of God uh, to save sinners, the plan of God to restore uh, the whole world uh, to what God would have it to be, to bring His kingdom uh, into uh, this world and into human history, was going to come to pass in and through Jesus Christ, beginning with the cross and the resurrection. And finally, as we see Jesus coming through uh, the streets of Jerusalem and the people are excitedly throwing palm br branches and leaves in His way and uh, shouting, Hosanna, blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord, that what we have here is a snapshot of what's going to happen in the future. One day, uh, Jesus Christ will be exalted before the whole world as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Revelation talks about that. Paul talks about that in Philippians where he says every knee will, will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is, is Lord. And uh, that's going to happen. It hasn't happened yet. It's in the process of happening uh, one individual at a time as people come to salvation in Jesus Christ. But one day it's going to happen consummatively all over the world. So the triumphal entry of Jesus Christ is a culmination of something from the past, but it also shows an anticipation of something that is going to happen in the future. So it's a great day. It's a great day of joy. It's a day of praise. It's a day of excitement. And uh, we celebrate Jesus Christ. And so I'm glad that you've had a chance to think with me this morning about uh, Jesus' coming into Jerusalem and salvation through Him and victory in Christ. And next week, we'll think about His resurrection, which begins the exaltation of Jesus Christ. What a wonderful week Holy Week is. And I hope you'll have a wonderful week thinking about Jesus, thinking about His cross and all that He accomplished there, and about His resurrection. It's been good to be with you today, and I wish you the very best today, throughout the week, and always. Until next time, we'll look forward to seeing you then on Morning Afterglow.